ready? Are you ready? This will take, I have to grab my spray bottle. Go ahead and just water up those watercolors. I know for those of you who are afraid of getting everything um, dirty, our, our paint supplies are meant to be used for painting. Okay, let's be clear. So about, I give this about a 30 second soak. And tonight I thought I would just take this to something that is kind of easy and attainable for everybody. I'm going to grab a watercolor brush, six, eight, 10 round. I'm not a paintbrush snob. <laughs> yes, I am. Um, yeah. I love me a good paintbrush. I love these little brushes. I want to find a smaller little brush. Yeah, she I've been painting on the go. I've been traveling. Oh, there we go. Got it. Okay. I got me a good one. All right. And then I am so appreciate your recordings for those of us who sometimes have to replay. Okay. All of my um, lives are recorded. They are put on my website. If you're part of my newsletter, I also do share all of the supply lists. So when I'm done, if I missed something or you joined in late and you're wondering what I'm using, don't worry, it'll be listed and it be part of the supply list. I wasn't one of those Amazon influencers and went through and told you what to buy. Just not that organized. I would love to do that, but I'm just not that organized. You know what? What are you? You're an eight. I always say I can get by with an eight. I got a water bin in front of me and uh, we're just going to let, I'm going to water. I'm going to just... Now I'm going to hope that this, if this tape doesn't stink, stink, stick, we'll figure out what to do. She shares so much. So join up, join up for her newsletter. Thank you, Cheryl. I didn't even tell her to say that. All right. I just did a little fine mist. Uh, I am using a number eight round brush. A lot of that comes right in your sets. And then I am just going to paint Hey, me a Birmingham. He likes country music. I do. What colors am I using today? Well, I'm using the primaries. Do I have to know what we're painting in advance? No, I don't. We'll figure it out as we go. Oh, I need to. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Light my fire. I'll make this full screen so you don't have to listen to me. Eight is great. Got it. Okay. Now, for those of you who want to control your watercolors, who are my control people and don't want them to mix? Oh. Do you get nervous when your watercolors start mixing together? Oh, I feel like I wanted a teal flower in there and I didn't do it. Well, let's see. Let's see. Because what happens? Oh, look at that. I don't know what. <laughs> That's the other thing about me. We are literally just painting by the seat of our pants. Throw some orange in there. Now, if it ever, if it ever feels like you need to just dry off that brush, the good thing about watercolors and people say you can't control them is dry off your brush and just pull it all back, okay? Like, look at this. This is going nuts. I have a feeling this is all leaking right underneath. That's the one thing about this gentle or delicate tape I don't like. That's why I don't recommend this to beginners. But I probably should have just done my beginner art journal book, but I didn't. So watercolors follow the flow of water. I'll say that again. Watercolors flow with the water. So they're going to go where the water is. Now, I really do want some teal in this. So I'm going to be patient. How bad would it be that I throw some teal in there? 
And it's already, this is cotton paper, so it's just going to absorb right in. Uh, it depends on the grade you're putting. But I, normally I don't create in this. I do have these. I have a few left in my, um, there are a few left in my um, store. Is this anybody's first time watching me? That's what I need to know. Is it your first time watching me? There we go. Uh, there we go. Michelle, yes, in art journaling for beginners. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, I like to show sometimes drawing first. Doris, first time, great. Welcome, welcome. That's what I want to know. First time, you know, are you a trained professional? Do I need to know how amazing you are? Froze up. I'm still moving where I'm at. Sandra, I need you to hit refresh, but if she's frozen, she don't know that I'm saying that. All right. I'm a true beginner. Feel free to ask questions. I love that. That's what we're here for. Um, I love, or this is one of my, not pet peeves, uh, but I noticed in art journaling for beginners when people say, where do I begin? And people say, just start. And you're like, well, I don't know where to start. I, I get it. So um, I'm giving you the five basic supplies. I'm telling you to kind of just go for it. And look, my watercolors are just going all over the place. Am I frozen? I feel like I'm not frozen because I'm watching myself. Hit refresh. Oh, it came back. Okay. Sorry, I can't control internet, social media, anything. I can't control... All right, I'm not frozen. So when teal and yellow get together, they make a beautiful green. So I'm not upset with that. No. Good. We're just going to let that go. And look at what's happening over here. I love it. So just welcome. If you have any questions, I do have uh, an art journaling for beginners uh, guide that might help you. We can give you the link to that. Hmm. I'm just watching. And then I'm just going to put in the rest is just like a light green. So what happens with watercolors is I just clean mine. Thank you. Have it. Thank you so much. Which paint palette are you using? I'm using the uh, Prima current. Uh, classics. Okay. So now I'm just going to dip into here. I'm going to make me, well, they go in these nice little lovely reservoirs. I mix my paints. I just clean them up. Okay. Ready? Begin. Okay. Ready? So I'm just going to make a different green, but I also mixed it in there. So I'm just going to come in. I'm letting things dry a little bit. I'm just going to come in and just color the rest. And for those of you who are wondering, like, oh, you use expensive black permanent pens, I'll go ahead and just use Sharpie tonight so you all know how they work. And, uh, okay, let the color run. Let the color run. Oh, I love it when I just make... I literally spent half a day in the car, so. Hey, what do you think? She ugly. So what happens when it turns ugly? Do you throw the paper away and just ditch it and just throw in some yellow back in here? No, we don't. We work through the uglies. Here's a spray bottle. I'm going to do. Sue Miller, I know you. Are you meeting people? Okay, look. I'm just going to give it a miss. I'm going to let things run a little bit. I'm going to make it scary. Okay. I feel like I want this pink to be bolder. So I can make it bolder. 
We have to work through what I call the uglies, which was for me kindergarten through sophomore year of high school. I was a much late bloomer. And that had to do with Coke bottle glasses, mullet haircuts, uh, uh, braces, uh, excellent parenting though. And then once all that stuff came off, okay, now we're good. All right. Now I'm just going to dry all this off. And I noticed my book is kind of ponding up because it's all okay. I'm going to let this go. I'm going to let it dry. We're going to just chit chat for a minute and let this go. Who's, who's ready to give up? I hope you guys are painting with me too. I always encourage every week for you all to paint with me. What does that mean? Grab a piece of paper and just explore and have fun. That's it. That's all I'm asking. And recognize that my number one rule when it comes to creativity, especially in an art journal, is it is just, I will let heat gun. I need to speed this up. <coughs> it is just, there's a delay. First person with the answer. Well, actually, I love that too, Denise. Oh, there we go. Okay, Connie, finish my sentence. Denise, okay, look. This is just a piece of paper. This is just a piece of paper. Just a piece of paper. But I love this too. Oh, wait. Uh-oh. Denise, I don't want to lose that comment. Thank you. <coughs> That's it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you. And for those of you who went to art school and you know all the rules, and I get it, and you know, um, I know all the rules from photography. And... And not all the rules. I don't know all the rules. But I do know the rules. And the rules in photography are what led me to realize that sometimes rules are meant to be broken. And um, by the way, I do. Uh, Darylin said, I look forward to watching the replay. Yeah. I just have... So many little exercises that keep you going and just get you out of the spot of when you want to just give up. I just love that everybody said, just a piece of paper. If it's a real big problem, I used to make this comment and I used to say, I'll just mail you a piece of paper. But then everybody started buying all the expensive paper and I figured I'm in trouble. Okay, I got to lower myself. All right, so back to just this. All right. So I'm going to up my lighting now that the sun is. There we go. Is that better? And now I'm going to do just, I, I, these are my favorite. These are my favorite, but I have mixed in here. A fine and ultra fine Sharpie. Okay. These are available anywhere you go. All right. Now we have a tornado watch. Sue Miller. Oh my goodness. Okay. So for those of you who want to know, can I create with a Sharpie? Yes, you can. This is definitely, I've upped my game a little bit. There's game changing situations that will help you, but this is one of mine, uh, a fine and ultra fine. And I'm just going to make sure you do want to make sure this is dry. Yeah, totally dry. And what I did tonight was a little bit of called wet on wet, meaning I wet the page first. And we will be done by 6.30. For those of you who get nervous about timing, you can always watch the replay. All right. So here we go. 
flower, 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 whatever. Okay, so I am going to, mm -mm -mm. oh, oh, wait, here we go. I'm going to make sure my pen works first. I can also put some light on the subject. Okay, y'all can see better. There we go. Now, how do we fix this? Let's just relax. This is my ultra fine Sharpie. And by the way, I had a couple of concepts drawn up, but because I came in by the hair of my chinny chin chin, I just want you guys to know that when you like can create, you don't have to have a concept. I did, but it's nice to come in and just roll in and see what the watercolors tell you to do. Now we kind of know, we kind of guess she a flower. Okay. We're kind of talking. We're talking, but that's going into that. And we're talking here and that looks like it's full and that looks like a petal. Do you see how I'm holding? my Sharpie too. I am so not stressing about it and I'm just, there we go. And we know that there's something here because we kind of intended for it to be there, but something might pop out like and the petals are just dying into one another. We don't know what's happening over here. We don't know. And then let's round these edges. Like let's, for those of you who like are linear and want to stick in the lines, this, you can go off the edge. Don't worry. Like just keep it flowing. Just keep the, the pen flowing. Like just don't worry. I'm not much of a pencil drawing kind of gal because pencils have erasers. Um, that's not so comfortable to me because I will second guess myself at every, but there's extra petals over here. I'm just watching the flow. Okay, uh, I have a dual Sharpie, ultra fine and fine. The lid is terrible on the ultra fine. You think it's on, it's not. Now on my second one and doing the same. Why can't they just make a proper lid? Okay, Megan, I have a philosophy about the ultra fine, like when they do it two-sided. And I love it. I mean, it's great. It's a great concept when I'm traveling, but I'll use one more than the other. And then I'm in that situation. So I'm sorry. And I don't work with Sharpie. I want to, but they should. I advocate. I use many companies. But do you see that I kind of have a platform here? And okay, she dies in that, she dies there. But for those of you who are following and figuring out that it has to follow an exact shape or pattern or whatever, um, you know, we've got some dead space. We have this. Don't worry about it. Let this go. All right, I got to move this fan on me or I'm going to drop dead and it's going to be ugly. Okay, thank you. Oh, she's got to be lower. So this, to me, is like rudimentary. And now we're going to start having fun. We're going to start realizing that these petals are just doing what they want to do. So we're, we're going to just go back over them. And like I said, these don't have to die perfectly. These could be going into a leaf. They can be tucked under, tucked over. Don't worry, we haven't brought the we haven't brought the big gun out, the fine Sharpie. All right. All right, I'm just gonna shut up and draw for a minute because 
I'm about to sweat my you know what's off. Uh, I think she's there. Um, so if you're just beginning, my five basic supplies I have listed. So I know for those of you now, just keep going. Just keep scribbling. Just keep going. We're going to work through the uglies. This got so bad. Yeah, we made mud in some sections. Oh, yeah. She's scribbling. We love a good scribble. My friend is over, and she just poured me a glass of wine. I put it in my studio, so I'm going to have a glass of wine. Who's painting with me? And if you're in your artful journey, you best be painting with me because I want to see what everybody's creating. And just keep going. I mean, you're definitely, it's just a be I love it. My first time also, uh, are the Sharpie markers waterproof? Yeah, they're not going anywhere. They don't go anywhere when I draw first. I'm sorry, who asked that? Dania, is it, I hope I'm getting that right. Helen, are you still watching? I want to know, I want to see your artwork. And tell your Nana, good. I love the scribbles. I need to master scribbling. Um, I'm pretty relaxed. I'm holding my pen. I'm just let. I'm just darkening in. The good news about this is I'm just going to continue to go until I'm happy with it. A lot of times I'm teaching and people go, "Am I done?" And I say, "Are you happy? What's your purpose? What is your purpose? Are you in this to make a masterpiece?" And be Van Gogh is your person purpose to enjoy the process, relax, maybe just art journal the day off. What is your purpose? You're gonna feel an end to this. You're you're gonna, it's naturally gonna happen, and we'll get to that point. Just give me, and I will go tell oops, 6 30. I'm at 6 13. So sometimes. And you guys can take this 10 times further than me, okay? Wava just said, sorry, my grandson just left, and I'm late and not painting, but we'll do it tomorrow. Wava, you know I'm okay with that. Oh, uh, Polly, Helen is watching, but not painting. Uh, she will paint after we are through. Oh, my God, I'm drawing a hot mess, and I'm just fine with that. I can't wait to see what you guys are doing. I just love it. If you um, can can get kids to do this and paint with you, but do you see how it's coming together? I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's not. Maybe this is just a delusion. But I'm still working. Can you imagine me in pencil right now? Now, I haven't touched her yet. She's the main star of the show. She's there. She's waiting for me. Okay. We haven't decided here, okay? Okay. She's the show. She's she's there. She's there. Don't worry. Just let. Oh my God, Fallon loves to paint with me, Polly. Oh my God. Yeah, I I enjoy. My main thing is having kids to create. So I love that. Okay. It's like a heartbeat. Follow your heartbeat. Follow your heartbeat. Okay. Find your purpose. What's your purpose? When you're doing this, is it just to relax now? You know, here we go. Now, that's fine. Let me look. Oh, she's ugly. Come on. Get me a nice. This is why I say you don't need expensive stuff. Sandra said, this is my first time watching live, so I'm watching and enjoying your commentary. Boys, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Just let the 
let, let the marker skip over the tip of the paper. This, this doesn't matter if your paper has texture. No, it's just going to skip over the top. And maybe it's going to, oh, I don't like that one. Though. Maybe it's going to do that. Maybe it's going to do that. I'm always big on, and I don't know, somebody upstairs, I'm not going to name whom, um, has a plan and your purpose. Maybe your purpose shifts in life, but I feel happy with my purpose and it's sharing with you guys and doing this. And it's something that this art has gotten me through life and it continues to do so. So um, I added this fine Sharpie to the mix because I needed this guy to be the star of the show. We had to wait. We had to. Now, I'm just going to sit and talk to you. Okay. I'm just going to sit and talk. Thank you so much. Both you and Tracy are wonderful. Oh, thank you. Okay, I'm going to move that up a little bit. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sweating. Okay, now, we're just going to sit and talk. I know this seems weird, but maybe we'll splatter something over the top of it. Oh, I got to keep looking. Uh, great with the details. It's just a piece of it. Yeah. So yeah, you got to stick with it. Um, I'm a perfectionist. I don't know if you know anything about me. Let me tell you, I am 53 years old. I like walks on the beach. No. Um, I like things linear. My brain is equipped in a few ways, but I also like when my labels are matched up, like sleeping with the enemy. And I'm a very clean, tidy, organized kind of gal. Where I let go and let my watercolors be dirty and my art supplies used has been some of the best space that I'll ever work in. And when I ever have life that gets me down or I make poor choices or I don't know, just woe is me. Uh, my art journal has always been a safe space to go, and I'm not an art therapist. I know nothing other than the mistakes I've made and the good choices I've made. Michaela, Joey, Tyler, Megan. Um, those are my kids. So I do lead from the space of just knowing that it's going to be okay. But this is a nice, I have high blood pressure. I live like crazy and I love bold colors. So that tells you a little bit about me. Now I'm going to continue to scribble. I will continue to just, so if you're learning to art journal and you don't know um, where to begin, I gave you the five basic supplies, which I will continue to do. And I just want you guys to remember that, like, we're going to continue. I will paint on anything. We do mixed media here. That's where we go. I'm just continuing to scribble. Speaking of walks on the beach, I had a pina colada the other day. They're still the best. They don't go out of fashion. That was from Megan Lawson, in case you're wondering. Now, I'm going to continue to just hook it up my way through here. And I have to end at 6.30, so I'm still doing good. But just remember when those colors start mixing together and you get nervous and you're, it's not perfect and it's not linear, let that stuff go because this has been the best thing. And I will continue to scribble until I can scribble no more. I think my pen is going bad. What I need to do is grab a new pen. Okay. You know what I'm thinking? I got an ending. Okay. Okay. 
let the I got a plan. I got a plan. It just hit me. It took a minute. Yeah, it did. I don't know about leaves. Yeah, I could do that. Okay. So I'm just letting Ooh. So remember, these are fine and ultra fine Sharpies. I do not have a magic anything up my sleeve. I don't have sleeves. And remember, I came skidding in. Oh, okay. Thank you, Anne. Oh, gal. Anne is, Anne is on my team and is the best. Let's name this painting. Because every week I do, I go live every Wednesday and I want you to name the painting. So then I love it when people email me and go, that was my name. I love it. Okay. Oh, you know what? Let's go darker here. Let's go darker. Let's go darker. Let's go darker. Now I'm going to do something that I didn't normally do. Oh, wait, hold on. I got to catch up with Pamela. Hi, Tracy. Still on the road. Third week in Georgia mountains. Glamping. Can hardly wait to be in my studio in another week with all your videos catching up. Miss my time with you so much. Your artful journey is uh, so much part of my joy uh, in my life right now. Sorry, I had to blow that up so I could finish it. Okay. Okay. Uh, Pamela, we miss you. Okay. I just, I have to. I have to say. All right. Now, I, I was going to draw some leaves and I was going to, I don't know, can there be a, yes, there's going to be a leaf in here. It's right here. It's like right there. She's feeling it. She's feeling it. She's feeling it. It's right by her. Yeah, you can keep going on your drawing. Nobody says you have to end at 6.30, but my stomach says I have to end at 6.30 because I haven't had nourishment since 11 this morning. Did anybody catch my treadmill talk this morning? If you did, I did it. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do it again. Let's just do it again. Okay. Don't worry, we'll fill in the funny. It'll it'll make sense. Oh, there has to be like a no. We're good. Okay, there we go. So we got a leaf. Okay, we got a we got a leaf. Yeah. Uh, and what she does is she emails me the names because my team wants me to name my artwork. I would call this the same thing every single week because I don't have to name anything. All right, I got to stand up. I got to breathe. So, how we, what are we thinking? I got a plan, Stan. Don't be coy, Roy. You got to be something. Okay, I'm going to go into this grain again because it's still nice and wet. Okay, on we go. Now, in this dead space... What do we call the dead space? The negative space. It's not dead. It's coming alive. Don't be hesitant to go back in there and just, okay, in between our paintings. And look at all the funky white. I love it. Just going back in. I didn't change palettes. I didn't change my shoes, my clothing, my underwear, nothing. We're just going to go in here and just darken this space up. I love when people tell me you can't lay over watercolors. I'm like, yes, I can. Now, are we going to guess how much bled underneath this tape? Because I feel like this tape was not really mounted down well. And then we're gonna like realize that the painting is ruined. It's not. Okay, I'm just gonna take it around here. 
Oh my God, it's so happy to find my creative happy space again. I will be um, recording content all weekend. Um, I got a plan. Right, Anne? We got a plan, Anne. Okay. Let that go. Let that dry. Give it a second. Let it dry. Oh, oh, low battery. I get it's a low battery. I'm still going though, right? Okay. Ready? And if you do want to order our journals, I do have them in stock. I do also have a laser wood cutting studio where I cut out all my own surfaces. We can chit chat about that. Now, when your watercolors are all like this, do me a favor. Just let them dry out overnight. And we can I can record my videos where I oh call it brighter days. And can you please write that down? Um this all cleans up nicely. I don't even care about this anymore. Um I just let that go. I'm drying this. And we're gonna be done in three minutes and counting. I was having a conversation with a friend of mine who's having a hard time in life right now, which it happens. We all have it. We all have it. And um, thank you, Lori, and Art Journaling for Beginners for saying pretty. I'm gonna take this one step further. And I'm going to take my aquarellable stub of a pencil. This is an aquarelle. Don't worry, I give all the supplies. If you're watching, it goes on my blog. It goes in my newsletter. Okay, I'm just going to come in here, and I'm going to add. You can do this with a pen, but I, I love that this thing is like, oops, I got to keep it sharp. Every Wednesday, I do a free live demo. Do I know what I'm going to create when I go into it? Somebody said they don't like to watch because I don't give a supply list. Well, good news is it's all recorded. I do a supply list after I'm done, but I create from the space I'm in. I create from the space I'm in. So what I'm happy, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Okay, I'm just going to finish because I have how many minutes? One minute. Okay, ready? I am finishing her. Okay. Well, I do a few more things to this. But your Artful Journey members, we deep dive. I answer your questions. Um, we are doing another challenge and when is our next art journal challenge? No, art journal. It's not going to be art journal. When is our next art challenge? And September, does she remember? Ninth, I think. Okay. I'm done. Because now I need to make. I need to make a plan when this leaks all oh wait if the tape doesn't come off readily heat it up this is where i was worried look at how good that it worked i'm actually not going to draw a border who would have bled through i would could have drawn a border yeah i'm good she good. Okay. This has vellum. When you heat up vellum, it curls up. So, all right. So I look at like colors, mixing, whatever. I know this is maybe not jiving with you guys, but I good. I'm good. She good. If I would continue. I would throw, I probably white splatter on this. But I'm not going to do it. You know why? Because I said, oh, you know what I'm going to do? Ah, uh, oh, it's 631. 
I know one thing I should have done. I'm just gonna do it with this. I can do it. I can do anything you can do better. No, I can't. I can do anything better than you. Oh, that's kind of thick. Oh well. I'm just taking a ruler. Oh, uh, 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 Peggy, can you post a link to the journal you're using? Okay, Peggy, you're in art journaling for beginners. And I'm on my Facebook page. Peggy, I have this journal available in my store. Um, I don't want you to go out of your way, Peggy. I'm going to try and go through the comments. And can you remind me to go through the comments and I can give her the link. It's in art journaling for beginners. Okay. I gave it a border. Oh, we got to sign our name or not our name sign. Well, I'm going to sign my name. You can sign your name. I'll answer some questions. Peggy hang tight. I will try to, you know what? Um, Oh, that's my name. All right. With a little heart. 